Oh my gosh, I want to talk about one of the biggest scams going today. Oh, that's Maria with Wealth Creation, by the way. This is just, it's just making me mad right now, so I just want to rant for a minute. So one of the biggest scams out there, in my opinion, is the whole credit score system. Um, I didn't used to think this. I didn't really know how it worked. And I worked really hard to get out of debt and to get my credit score up, and I found out there are ways that you can game the system. Who knew? Well, I didn't know, but apparently everybody else knows because there's a lot of gaming going on. And they're just really, I don't give them any credibility. I know banks do and lenders do and all that, but personally, your credit score is not any indication of your worth as a human being. And don't give them any credibility because they are scammy people, let me tell you. So here's what happened. Um... I had, because of the business that I was in, some pretty high debt debt ratio on my credit cards. Like I had almost all my cards were maxed out at one point. And because of that, I had a really low credit score. Because, you know, even though you're paying on time every month for, you know, years, it doesn't matter. If you owe too much on your balance, they're going to knock your score down. And so if I had a $2,000 balance, maybe I owed $2,000. If I had a $15,000 balance, maybe I owed $15,000. Whatever. It knocked my score down into the low 600s. And I wanted to get it up. And I was really working on paying those credit cards off. Like really hard. I was working extra. Um, I took on side jobs just to get extra money to pay those off. I was really working on my business. Just all sorts of things. And they were coming down, but they were coming down slowly. So then my friend tells me, well, if you can get on somebody else's credit card, then that will help your score. So I did. I talked to my mom and I got on one of her credit cards as an extra, as an extra like card. Like I wasn't financially responsible. It was her card, but she got me a card in my name and I never used it, but it went on my credit score. So now... I have a card that's 30 years old because she'd had it for 30 years or something crazy like that. So now my, because they count your time, like how long your accounts have been open. And every time you open a new account, it's new. So it brings your average down. Well, I got one added on that was 30 years old. So my average went way up from my account on time. And she hardly ever used that card. And she had like a $20,000 limit on it. So she was like $200 out of $20,000. So that really helped my score because now my available credit compared to used credit was way different. It was like less than 50%, I don't know, instead of like 100%. So my score went up to the mid 700s within like a month and a half. So yeah, I mean, wow, if it's that easy to manipulate, how accurate can it be? So then this happens. Then I had a credit card that I hadn't used in years and actually I'd forgotten about it. And I got a letter in the mail saying, if you don't use this card, we're going to close it. So I thought, hmm, I want to keep it open. Huh, maybe I'll use it. So I went to the store and I bought $16 worth of something at the store. And I checked my credit score the next day or two days later. This is Credit Karma, who isn't the best I understand that they're not the most accurate out there, but I had credit karma and I was trying to work it that way to kind of keep track of where I was. And $16, $16 knocked my credit score down three points. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And they did it immediately, like within a day. Like they report those charges immediately. And I paid it off. Um, as soon as it showed up on my account because I was really only using the card to so it wouldn't get um, turned off because I hadn't used it for so long and I wanted to keep that credit open and wouldn't you know it took six weeks six weeks to come for my score to go back up three points because it was finally off there because they report the charges immediately but they don't report the payments till the end of like the next statement period, which can be up to six weeks. Is that scammy or what? I mean, I just, I can't say enough, not nice things about the credit reporting system in this country. So yeah, so I just wanted to rant about that for a minute 
um, and tell you that number one, you're not your credit score. If you know that you are doing the right things and you are working your plan and you are trying to get more financially free and you have a system and you're going for it, then your credit score will catch up eventually. It may take a long time. Um, and you need it for, like I said, lending, if you want to get a mortgage, if you want to get an auto loan, stuff like that. But it's just, it's a rigged system. It's not something that I like or that I'm happy about. I play the game, but now I know a little bit more about the game so I can play it a little bit better. All right, end of rant. That's it. Peace out and here's to our success.